and welcome to The Angry Sniper, episode number 96, patch 2.2.2, yes, I'll say it again, patch 2.2.2, <laughs> this is an old vid, so old in fact it's almost three years old because this is from the 21st of July 2013, and just in case you're wondering how the hell do I remember that? It's just how the war zones get saved when I've recorded them. <laughs> it puts a date stamp on <laughs> in the file name. So what's going on? Why haven't I loaded? Why am I loading this? Where have I been in game? Well, some of those I've already answered um, in the descriptions. I've um, I didn't have time to make a proper vid, so I just put it in the descriptions. Essentially, hello, Chris. All right. Essentially, I'm working on something in real life. I don't want to say what it is. It's nothing game related. I've been putting it off for over 10 years now. It's nothing bad. It's something I've never had. To... It's I've never had the motivation to do it, but I don't know why. It was just odd. I've just got the motivation to do it and. I'll probably never finish it, but I'd like to give it a go. You know, it's nothing bad, and I just hope people can respect that. You know, it's I haven't lost interest in to, um, in the game. I haven't had any fallings out with with people. You know, there's no one who's pissed me off, and oh, that's it. I've, nothing like that. It's just personal reasons. I'm on an extended extended break from the game. I think it's also healthy really as well because I've only really had one break of about three months a few years back and if you I'm one of these people I need some time to refresh myself so what I'm hoping I want to spend a bit of time focusing on my little project that I'm doing for myself and it is for myself it's for no one else and then come back to the game in a few months time more refreshed and kind of get that buzz back again which i think we all lose over time so i hope people can respect that um, i haven't quit my both my accounts are still open and they'll never close you know snipers forever <laughs> hey and all that stuff um so that's that stuff said and done so why am i loading this particular ball zone well, it's, I've been thinking about doing a vid to actually say what I've just said over the last three minutes. Ooh. And I thought of this one because this particular vid, there's some scenes in here I've used in some of my other, uh, in, in some previous Warzone um, uh, videos. Um... So you may recognise them, but I've never actually loaded the full war zone. And it was actually quite a fun war zone. I mean, don't forget, this is in the 2.0 era. So we have got our beloved resets on EMP Discharge. The true version of EMP Discharge. Not that crap resets we get. Three minute bloody cooldown, dear me. But hey, a sniper scored. Woohoo! <laughs> yep, this particular scene is, um, I think, one I've used um, in a couple of um, montage vids, but also I've done use this scene for my engineering guide PvP mobility vid. Because um, I did make some mistakes, but there's, it kind of gives you an example of how to use some of your defenses, you know. So, if ever you've watched that or watched the montage and, ah, I wonder what happened in that, in the rest of that war zone. Aha! Well, here you go. Not that anybody's probably asked, but your question has been answered, finally. <laughs> um, I have been keeping an eye on the Star Wars forums. You know, I've replied to a few things and so forth, and... I am aware that Tomb of Freedom Nerd is apparently virtually dead. There's 
not many playing it anymore a lot of transferred over to the red eclipse which is great for the red eclipse but this is a ball zone from when i actually played on um, tomb of freedom ned so you know it's just my way of not saluting but i don't know it's um, just something to show of Tomb of Freedom Nerd, you know. I mean, I did have my issues with the server. Um, I did find the community there, the atmosphere quite toxic at times. Um, the people didn't like snipers on that. I mean, I'm a sniper, I'm used to getting focused. <laughs> you know, that's there's no change there, and every other sniper who listen to this will know what i mean by that they're snipers you will get focused it's that simple but it was different on tomb of freedom nerd the amount of stealth was just silly especially with um um all the bloody scoundrels and so forth it's kind of ah oh, something i won't miss about that server <laughs> <laughs> the problem is these days, of course, there's still a lot of bloody stealth, but anyway. Um, there's also a lot of rage crits and people were less tolerant as they are. I know there's some people on the Red Eclipse which are exactly the same. But on the whole, it's kind of... For me, the Red Eclipse was a better fit. But enough of that. I'm also aware that it's... Um, you do get some funny posts going on in on the Star Wars forums, and yes, there is a post which I think is... I understand the PvE's point of view. I do. I can appreciate it. I can respect the fact that they don't like the nerf to Marksman. It's had an effect. I understand everything they've said. But really... A thread on how to make marksman great again. It's like... Nah. I'm sorry. It's kind of... If anything, I would say... From a PvP perspective, violence needs a lot more work than marksman or engineering. After that, I would say engineering could do with some changes. And then bloody marksman. It's kind of... I know it's the other way around for PvE, but I do find it funny is a lot of PvEers, not all of them granted, there's some uh, um, good knowledgeable P uh, PvEers who knows uh, how it is with PvP and that's perfectly respectable. But some of the things PvEers turn around and say, ah, you know, we need to boost ambush damage, we need to boost penetrating shots again to back to what it was before. To enable us to kill this perfectly predictable boss. And it's like... Yeah, see... You do realise that amount of burst in PvP is bad, don't you? You know it's not actually that great. It's kind of... 3.0, that entire era, from my point of view, being a diehard engineering fan, was so depressing. At the end of the 3.0 era, just before 4.0 was released, virtually every single fucking sniper out there was bloody marksman. Or if you were going to sling a sharpshooter. And it's... It's... Just fucking ridiculous. It's... <laughs> I don't like to see my class nerfed. But I fucking applauded when they did actually nerf, finally, marksman. It was kind of... Finally, you know, but it has had an effect on PvE and I respect that and so forth, but I just find that entire thread quite funny, <laughs> you know, it's, <laughs> it's, but then again, I do think the developers do have a, they've made it tough for themselves to actually how to balance this game, you know, it's kind of, I don't know what it's like with the, with the, um, the sort healers now, I know they've increased the cost, but healing has always caused problems in the game. 
and for marksmen the better the healers are and the tanking um, bits um, for this beloved trinity the more problematic it is for snipers I think more so than any other class and I would say mercenaries probably have it better I'm probably going to get shot for this <laughs> thankfully the video is almost at an end mercenaries tend to have issues as well I know that I respect that but at least they have got some healing skills snipers don't have that I've probably waffled in no end here and oh Christ I've got a bit of backache at the moment bloody hell <laughs> I've got to be careful how I move <laughs> so that was a good fun ball zone I enjoyed that I scored all three um goals woohoo excellent <laughs> who says snipers can't score <laughs> but uh that was fun I'll be able to see you again sometime I don't know when, but until then, take care, keep sniping, and have fun.